it's time for your Friday fail story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So all these people thought they had the perfect plan, but somewhere along the line, that perfect plan went completely sideways. And it became an Uber. An ultra, dare I say it, mega. Here we go. Yeah! Wow, you sounded great, hey, boss. Hey, by the way, Columbus yeah. here. Hey! Oh, man. Hey! We got hey, extra boys. Man. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, guys. Good to see you, man. Real good to see you. And, and what an honor to have Columbus in for the Friday Fail uh, uh, song. Yeah, that was neat. Yeah, that extra voice in there just added that. Mm. Yeah, he took the low. That was a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys later. All right, take care, man. Thanks for coming in. And by the way, the outfit you're wearing. You see the outfit he's wearing? I do. Oh man, that saw me first. Oh, thank you very much. You know, I'm not ashamed to say this. Everything I'm wearing, head to toe, Amazon Prime. Right. It's that easy. Really, it's that easy. You can type in a funky tracksuit or goofy tracksuit. And just come up with it's 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 infinite, man. Uh -huh. There's so much fashion on this Amazon Prime, and it and it's there in 48 hours. Well, yeah. thanks for uh, contributing to uh, Jeff Bezos' rocket ship. Yeah, uh -huh. man. Hey, man, if he can help me look like this, I can help him however I can. <laughs> help him go to space. Dude, that it's so awesome. It's tigers and gold trim and all that. If, Ladies if, and gentlemen, this is sure. New Jersey. Yeah, I was gonna say if Elvis came out, uh, if if Columbus came at me looking like this without a smile. I think I'm about to be killed. It's a bit, definitely a business. Uh, it can be a business casual suit, you know. <laughs> I like wearing it in the, in the mornings when I'm having my coffee and stuff. <laughs> <as nice>. Sure. <laughs> it's got tigers on it. It's all thing. Gold. You got gold trim. Yeah, <laughs> it makes a statement, you know. And uh, again, uh, under 50 bucks, Amazon Prime. <laughs> and I don't, get, I don't get paid for that or not. I'm just impressed by them. Beautiful. You see the shoes? No. Gold Look. mirror shoes. Wow. Wait, mirror Amazon shoes? Amazon Prime, too? They light up if I, if I press a button here. Let me see. I know it's not big for radio, but uh, <laughs> oh, do you have wheels on the back? Uh, no, they, but I, but I looked at those. I did. That'd be pretty cool. Oh my <laughs> goodness! Look at that! Look at that! See that? I gotta take a photo. Man! Yeah. So it's uh, you know, and, and again, another uh, item under forty dollars on on Amazon Prime. Jealous party of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I spend too much time on the internet, but it's good to see you guys, yeah, man. You, you too, man. Clownvis, uh, so, Clownvis, uh, tonight at a place called The Red Flag. That's right, a new venue in St. Louis called The Red Flag. Uh, give me a landmark as far as where it's by. Uh, it's in Midtown. I suppose it's not far from whatever else is in Midtown. Mm. There you go. Oh, that's that's, you nailed like a, it. You just like near all the Midtown Google, stuff. It's like I'm looking at Google Maps. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you know where the Chrysler plant is in Fenton? Uh, yeah, of okay, course. Yeah. So it's not nowhere near not, there. Not no. close to there. No, just past Wet Willie's a little further and uh, somewhere. Uh, and uh, so Clonvis tonight. Uh, and opening up your show is King Scott's band. How about that? 2SG. Woo! That's real exciting, you know. It is when, very exciting. When you, uh, when you look for an opening act, you got you to gotta put a couple things into play, you know, because there's so many, so many bands out there. And the 2SG is, is definitely one. And, uh, <laughs> you know, when, when you put all, all the different factors in, into play, you realize you got to find a group that is um, just not, not going to make me look bad. Yeah, right. you, know, yeah. you got right. it. Nailed it. We sound very local. <laughs> like a local band. Yeah. That flavor, that, yeah. that processed cheese flavor. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you hear all these stories about the opening acts kind of overshadowing the, the, yeah, the headliner. We don't need that. No, anymore. I know. I, uh, you got to look out for that. The other opening act is uh, Electro Dinosaur, and they're good, too. So I'm, I'm going to be on my game tonight, but very excited about the 2SG. I can't wait. What? Uh, oh, what so you've never seen them, then? <laughs> 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 no, I saw them at Point Fest, but oh, I don't yeah, remember right. much. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was on the Rich Show stage, yeah, remember? That's right. You came out and, and, and sang a song with the... Uh, with the crew. So what time does everything kick off tonight? Uh, doors are at 7 o'clock, and the, uh, show, the music is going to start at 8 o'clock. And 2SG starts at 6.30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slightly before doors. Shh, don't, don't, don't tell them. But <laughs> they're playing at noon on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Columbus is here. We've got to get to these, uh, to these Friday Fail stories. Sponsored by? More at Torres Jewelry, online at ninjabling.com. You know, I have to say that in searching for Friday Fail stories this week, a lot of people apparently achieved their goals. Well, son of a... Well, listen, there's always failures across the country and around the world. And have you ever had to admit a great idea you had was actually kind of dumb? 49-year-old guy in Florida, Reza Balaki, 
built a giant hamster wheel for humans that goes on water, and he keeps trying to run across the ocean on it. <laughs> so, Where's the yeah. dumb idea, though? I don't, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> He'll get but to it, I'm he sure. He never gets far. Uh, he does it to raise money for charity, so that's the good part. But he had to be rescued off the coast of Florida oh, back in 2014 boy. and again in 2016. Then his third attempt got stopped by the Coast Guard a couple months later. So he just tried a fourth voyage this weekend, this past weekend. But he washed ashore near Daytona Beach oh, on day two. So. Failed. Failed. Even the hamsters are going, will you knock it off? They're making us look yeah, you're bad. you're giving us a bad name. Yeah. His original plan was to run 1,000 miles from Florida to uh, Bermuda. Then he said Florida and New York. Then he said I'm just going to go down the street. <laughs> <laughs> no word on yet on a fifth attempt, but I'm sure that will fail as well. <laughs> so back in 2019, a guy walks into a credit union out near Pittsburgh, makes a deposit of 50 bucks into his account. Just there for a deposit. Right. Okay. Later that day, dude's back at the credit union, this time in a Guy Fox mask with a gun. And he robbed the place of $101,000. A witness uh, saw him leave, run to a car, surveillance footage, and a license plate reader showed it was a Ford Escape registered to a 66-year-old Thomas George. An employee said, yeah, we know George, long-time customer. Yeah, George was here earlier this morning. You're driving that same car to deposit 50 bucks. Cops picked him up. Police found a, a, a bag in the furnace of the house he was at containing a little over 90 grand. In court this week, pleaded guilty to armed robbery. He'll be sentenced next month. So he robbed the bank Failed. to go to that you were there earlier in the day. If he has to pay the money back, does he get credit for the 50 that he deposited? I don't know. Did you say he was hiding his money in a furnace or something? Yeah, yeah. That's the best part. I mean, that's like an old, <laughs> old criminal move, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. They'll never look here. Uh, I hope this is real and not staged because this is outstanding. A guy in Russia walked into a sex shop on Saturday, tried to rob the place. He pulled out a small knife, told the cashier to give him the money at the register, but instead she reached over the counter and pulled out an 18-inch flesh-colored sex toy and just started beating the crap out of the guy uh, with it. Okay. And this well, why is do we have this, video. guys? <laughs> why is this here? There is security footage of the whole thing. Uh. And this is, I think it's real. So this giant dong, she just starts whipping him with it. It had a key to the bathroom on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so she ended up chasing the guy out of the store. Uh, he, he didn't get anything, but you know, I think the cops are trying to track him down still. Sugary cereal, not the healthiest breakfast, but it's a lot better for you than this. 31-year-old guy, Justin, recently got pulled over in Western Massachusetts for a janky license plate. Temporary plate with such bad handwriting, they couldn't even make that. They couldn't make the numbers out, so the guy made it himself. Turned out the car was not registered, license expired. That's the least of his worries, because while he was being arrested, they found drugs in his pocket, so they searched his car and found a family-sized box of Frosted Flakes that was full of drugs. <laughs> mm. Yeah, sugar. <laughs> One big bag of cocaine inside, over 3,000 tiny bags of heroin. Oh, man. Obviously planning to sell. Also found a purse pack with even more drugs. Guy in the passenger seat arrested, both facing drug trafficking. Failed. Weirdo, he's carrying a purse. <laughs> and just one box of cereal? Did he think that was like discreet or something? <laughs> just a single box of cereal sitting in the back seat. Why do you think Tony the Tiger is so energetic? Popped yeah. up on blow. They're great. Oh, I love these stories. Man in Pensacola, Florida, at a bar last Thursday, showing off his new gun. Nothing it's, bad. This always goes. This always Nothing ends ever bad well. happens. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> in a bar, showing off his new gun. He was showing off the gun to a man and a woman sitting at the bar when he made a quick motion to put the gun into an imaginary holster <laughs> under his shoulder. No. no. Whoops. When the gun went off and a bullet hit our hero right in the torso. Oh, no. The bar manager says, quote, I don't know if he was pretending to be a badass or something, but from what I, uh, what I could tell, it was completely an accident. Before the police came, the guy left, uh, left the bar, checked himself into the hospital, Police are still trying to determine if charges will be filed. <laughs> Whoops. Failed. Could have killed somebody. Of course. Mm -hmm. And he looked like a fool. <laughs> yeah. And that's the worst of it. <laughs> that hurts more. <laughs> uh, a couple more for you. Last May, two police officers in South Africa lost a prisoner who was under their guard. Lost him. Just, uh, just... Vanished. Well, the guy was busted breaking into a house. 
and he needed some kind of medical attention after being caught. So the officers took him to a hospital where they proceeded to just lose track of him. Hey, did you? You got You were supposed to be watching Carl. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. No, I, oh, boy. Well, here's, here's where the story gets worse. So the guy escapes. So what would their boss think? What would their boss think? Uh, somebody's getting pissed. fired. Yeah, somebody's yeah. getting fired. We just lost our prisoner. What's the boss going to think? So the cops just grabbed the guy off the street and just tried to pass him off as the guy. No, they, they did, did not. <laughs> that's a bright move. Okay. That's right by the book, true. isn't it? I mean, that's how they do it in training. <laughs> right. They just grabbed the guy off the street. Just needed a warm body to fill that cell. And while well, the poor dude sat all night behind bars. Wow. Just ple like, it's not, it's not me. He could have just stuffed some old clothes with some, uh, you know, some rags. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So it wasn't until a detective got to the, the, got to the jail the next morning and realized what happened. They checked the case file. <laughs> it took a detective. Listened to this innocent mm. man's story, you know, <laughs> that the officer had switched suspects after the guy escaped. Anyway, two police officers are now in jail on kidnapping charges. Whoa. Wow, yeah. that backfired. Oh, failed. Yeah, it did. Yep. And finally... A young woman in Australia called the uh, police early one morning this week because she found a suspicious pair of footprints on her driveway, and they were leading up to her doorway. Mm. This is Australia, right? Australia. Okay. So cops roll <laughs> yeah, out. Okay, Jeff. Cops roll out, and uh, they saw what she was talking about. Like, oh, there are the, there are the footprints. The footprints were made of, like, a salt-like material, so you could clearly see. Mm -hmm. And after wasting their time investigating and performing a security check, police determined that the footprints were the woman's. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Fail. <laughs> and those are your Friday fail stories. <laughs> Ma'am, these, right? uh, these are your footprints. <laughs> Could you imagine telling her that? Oh, And she God. would go, oh, God. Yeah. Uh, that makes so much sense. Uh, you guys want some sandwiches? I walked this way. Uh, it yeah. makes so much sense. I was walking here earlier. <laughs> So yesterday we were uh, talking about you. I don't know if you heard us, because uh, yesterday was National Chili Dog Day. Oh, is that right? Yesterday was National Chili Dog Day, and uh, we played your... Oh, thank sucking you. on a chili dog. Thank you so much, yeah. I would have sucked one if I would have known. I didn't even know. <laughs> Pull that audio. <laughs> <laughs> Just for future use. Yeah. Say, so, hey, find me Columbus's version, if you could, real quick. Because uh, we also played... The sucking on a chili dog version that some the vi the viral uh, viral yeah. thing. Young, young man yeah you know that was a man that was a big old uh, issue in my life when that went viral you know because I've been doing that that bit for a long time and that's what we said and um, and it was pretty much verbatim what this m young man was doing uh, <laughs> yeah and here's here's this guy's version sucking on a chili dog sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog, sucking on a chili dog, chili dog, sucking on a chili dog. Which, okay, it, it's, it's, it's weak. Yeah, it's weak. Weak. I, <laughs> I started dozing. I was dozing. <laughs> no, it, but it, yeah, it's, it's the same part of the song, you know, same uh, part of the song that I use in everything. Well, here's Clombus. It's been in my head all day long. <laughs> and you have been doing that since too since long. Time. Yeah, too long. Over ten years, I've been. I mean that that video that would that is from 2012. Yeah, yeah. That is, I've been doing that a long time. And uh, you know, I, I ended up. Uh, I do a show on the internet, Clam was mm -hmm. to the rescue. And I had uh, that young man, Tom McGovern, is his name. Yeah, we uh, played a little clip of it. Oh, did you? Okay, too. good. Yeah, he's a nice. He's a nice boy. I just, you know, he, I, I do believe him when he said, uh, you know, he didn't lift it directly from me. I, I believe him. He might have heard it from a friend or something that heard it from me. It's hard to believe that it would come out just like that. But, uh, <laughs> but it was, uh, you know, he definitely was a nice guy about it. And, I, I, you know, he wasn't trying to rip me off or nothing. But, boy, I woke up that morning to 100 messages in my inbox, you know, and then for a week, just everybody got to tell me about this new chili dog sensation because uh, I'm being wronged. But if I, could, if I can just put a positive spin on it, I uh, printed up these sucking on a chili dog T-shirts, and I sold so many yeah. of those. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> boy, thank you. That's what you do. <laughs> Turn a positive from a negative. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, sure showed him.
Well, yeah. how, many, how many T-shirts he sold. Exactly, yeah. man. Let's put those numbers together. Well, if yeah, we, <laughs> I, I watched your whole interview with him. Thank you. And uh, your build-up was like, hey, man, uh, you need to be completely honest right now. I'm going to ask you a question. You need to be honest. I'm going to give you a warning. This, this, ask this question. Have you ever sucked on a chili dog? <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out this this guy never even had a chili He's dog. He's never in his had life. a chili dog. Never yeah. had a chili dog. How in do his you life. sing about that? How do you sing about that? It's like somebody with a per perfect life trying to sing about the blues or something. Yeah, right. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. No, but he's an, he's a nice guy though, and I'm glad you know it gave me it gave me a little lift, and it was nice to see people on the internet uh, rally uh, for a clown. That's you know? a great that's a great point. Is you know your troops are mobilized. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you have fans far and wide. Yeah, I really do. I've collected a, a lot over the years. I'm gra grateful for that. Uh, you're still cranking out music? Yes, definitely. I got a new album out now. Whoa! Hey, look at you! Congrats! I know. How about that? That's great. So we're gonna take a break. We'll take a break. We'll play a new track from Clownvis after the break. Fantastic. We'll talk more about what the uh, what the song what the uh, what the show is going to be all about tonight. Yeah. Uh, there is your sucking on a chili dog shirt. That's there an it awesome is. Shirt. Clownvis for the rescue <laughs> Look at that full <laughs> color. All right, we'll Woo. be back with more Clownvis. A new track. We'll talk about the show tonight. Bob Saget's going to be here soon. Yeah. We'll talk more in depth about chili dogs. That's a <laughs> is that a six color shirt or am I counting wrong? Uh, I think it's six colors on that Dang, bad boy. Dude, it's you high guys class. talking t-shirts? Yeah, we're talking t-shirts. It's eight thirty-five on this Friday. Now look at your traffic and weather. Here is Patrico. Hi, I'm a pubic hair. Okay, coming at you. <laughs> your point. Traffic update brought to you by Ryan Kelly, the home loan expert. Dot com. Right lane blocked, right hand shoulder blocked due to a stalled vehicle. Westbound 70 right at the Rock Road. Your point forecast today cloudy, a chance for rain just under 90 for the high. Some showers late. Storms after midnight this weekend. Rain tomorrow, mid 70s for the high, mid 60s for the low. Sunday, it's dry and in the mid 80s for the high, around 60 for the low. Right now, it is 78 at the point studio. Point forecast brought to you by Car X. Birthday, Riz. Bird is fat. Clavis is here. All right. Uh, last time we saw you was at a King Scott's birthday party. That's right. Oh, man, that was so much fun riding go karts down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't it great? Yeah, you looked amazing on that. Isn't it great riding go karts mm -hmm. where yeah, we are? It really is. Let alone having a, uh, an Elvis clown with you. Yeah, well, it's, it was a good morning for all of us. It was, a great, it was a magical morning for all of us, especially King Scott. Oh, yeah. You, know, you celebrating his, uh, his 40th with us was just wonderful. A, yeah, thanks for what being What an honor. There. My pleasure. And uh, you, you and Craig Gass look like you were at a speed dating uh, uh, yeah. event, the way you guys just started talking. And we got into it info, quick, man. And, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah he, had cool. me on, he had me come uh, be on his show that night or uh, that weekend there. That's right. Yeah, he was a nice guy. We got along real well. Good, good, good. He's yeah, good. Craig Gass is a good guy. Yeah. Um, Clavis tonight over at the Red Flag, which is uh, Midtown. That's right. And uh, King Scott's group, 2SG, opening up, as well as... Electro Dinosaur. Electro Dinosaur. <laughs> uh, you get tickets at the door, what do we do? You can, you can probably get tickets at the door, uh, Red Flag STL, if you want to get them in advance. Right. But they'll, we'll be, they'll be available at the door as well. And you have a new record coming out? There's a new record. The uh, CD will be available at the show tonight. It comes out digitally uh, Monday, I believe, August Whoa, 2nd. Oh, that's yeah. huge. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a soundtrack to the um, all the songs that I put, well, not all of them, but some of the songs that I put together uh, for this uh, show that I've been doing on the Internet over mm -hmm. the last year or so. Um, so many fun little songs that I was able to package into an album. Um, and I think they stand alone. I think that the album itself, you know, you don't need to know the show to enjoy it. Um, but if you do enjoy the show, it definitely is a fun companion. You know? Yeah, I'm going to play a track here in just a moment. But explain, I mean, you were the one, you were one of the only people that really took advantage of... You know, the, 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 the COVID thing and, and started doing a show from your basement and, you know, putting it online. Yeah, I had a... Uh, blew up. Yeah, I got, I got very lucky, you know, and I hesitate to um, even be t too happy about it because it was such a terrible year for everybody. But overall, it, it really did um, open up uh, a few new avenues of things I could do creatively, you know, and, and it's helped me so much. Um, I've done more in the last year and a half creatively mm -hmm. than I've done in the last 10 years, you know. Well, and that's so, part yeah. of the pressure of doing it every day. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you had to create something unique every single day. Dude. Exactly. And it's got, yeah, it's got to come from somewhere. And, you know, when you're, when you're on the road, like I've been forever, um, I don't want to try new things when I'm in front of a, a big crowd. You know, I just want to do what I know works. Mm -hmm. and it's, uh, but, you know, but in this situation, it's like if I decide that an alien should sing a, a song to a robot mm -hmm. or something, you just do it. <laughs> right. Well, you know, some people, you when, when, you know, when all the touring stopped, you know, some people just kind of sat at home and like, well, I guess that's it. Can't do anything. You took advantage of it. Yeah, I was, I was excited, man. I got as far as Reno, Nevada. I was supposed to start a tour, and then it got canceled, and uh, drove back to St. Louis from there just thinking about what I was going to do and 
what I was going to do with all this uh, tour merch that I was going to be sitting on. Mm-hmm. I thought, maybe I'll go live, you know, and try to do some internet busking or something. But, <laughs> and it, you know, I just started by turning, flipping on my phone live, and we got uh, uh, very professional very quick, which was uh, a surprise to me. Uh, Moon comes in with a smile on his face. I just had an interesting, and in, in, it's not funny, but it's funny to me, a uh, phone call with, with uh, Mr. Bob Saget. He is on his way. He's on his way. Cab driver driving around town, just, you know, showing him the sights on accident, really. Where is he? Oh, no. He's downtown. He's on his way. He's on he's his way. He's downtown? Oh, Do you guys no. know where he is? Oh, good. He's lost out there, and he's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> well right done. Thank you. Great Thank reference. You. Oh, my God. He's on his way, but the cab driver's fighting him on everything. On everything. Uh, come on, cab driver. Yeah, yeah. But he, he's handling it very well. Okay. Is he, is he going to come in guns blazing? I think so. I think <laughs> oh, so. Man. It's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to play something new from Clownvis. Yeah. And then we'll get into sports. You're a sports fan, aren't you? Of course, yeah. yeah. What sport are we talking about? Water polo? Yeah. yeah. All the yeah. sports. You watch the, the Olympics? Ones. Synchronized swimming. Uh, no, I, 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 I tried watching skateboarding the other night. I was, I was a little let down, you know? Yeah, I like to think that skateboarding is, um, it's not an Olympic sport, it's a crime. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a shirt, there's a shirt that says that. That's the mentality that I think have a you, lot have of people have. Have you seen that shirt, like, have. for real? No, it, it, no so are they so selling it? It, it, says, it, says, it says skateboarding is not an Olympic sport, it's a crime, yeah, and it says the Olympic rings, it's handcuffs. <laughs> That's where I stand. You know, we, I think a lot of people that were skateboarding uh, throughout their lives were treated like criminals, and now all of a sudden he got these uh, little tennis player guys on skateboards. We should be happy I'm, about this. I'm just player. kidding. I'm happy for him. Tony Hawk is out there. Look you know, he's, he's, <laughs> Tony Hawk is uh, like, you know, he's out there, the ambassador. Tony Hawk is a genius. He's a legend. I love him. He's, I, I know he's on the NBC broadcast, you know, talking about what a great honor it is to now be recognized. And Right, yeah. Well, it's, he's, boy, he's been a... Uh, a figure in that world since he was a young boy, and he's yeah. uh, always been uh, compelling and fascinating and talented. Artist. Well, we've all been into the synchronized diving. Yeah. I was watching oh, that the other day. We love really synchronized good. diving. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. They jump up. You just hope their head doesn't hit on the. Yeah, thing. that's it. They, they got to like, keep yeah. it, keep it tight. Keep them little tuck and curls tight. Yep. Like I want little, to see a, a good little. can opener. <laughs> Is that where you hold the one leg? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's try it. All right. right do, you, now. <laughs> do you know why they shower off after each dive? Why is it? Why I don't remember. Why is it? Uh, to, to keep their down. muscles. They got because the pool's cold, so they got to warm up. No, it's, it's because the, the pool's actually warm. It's when they get out. It's the it's the changing from uh, warm yeah, water, yeah. cold air, and bubble shrinkage. Up. But somebody like said a this thing. Yeah, it's, it's it's just for shrinkage. That's yeah, they it. got those. That's tidy, why the that's those why the spouts down here. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, somebody sent me a link and said, "Oh my gosh, your pine tar comment." Remember, I threw out like to wash off the pine tar uh-huh. is somewhat true. Apparently, there's like a sticky substance that they use or something, and they have to like kind of keep it fresh. Plus, did you know that there's a water agitator that they put on the water to so they can see the yes, water and so they don't perspective. Yeah. Right. Yeah. While they're spinning, like a hologram. <laughs> I'm not really sure how it works. I think so it's they, a hologram. Yeah, so if you see the, the, are you talking about the two things of water that squirt out, like the cannons of water that squirt out? I guess so, yeah. I know, okay, I saw that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's because when you're that high up, you can't you can't see where the water starts uh, and the bottom of the pool is. Uh, it's per, per I thought that was just a little, like a, a water park vibe. Man. Man. Neat. So neat. <laughs> 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 All right, here's a new Clombus song. Yeah. It's called The Universe, and you could buy it tonight at the Clombus Show. Over at the red flag. Here we go. World premiere, baby. Times are hard, but man's been here before and we'll get by like we've always done before. And if we try to do the best we can, we'll be all right. We will survive. Just kidding, I always have the answers, I'll never let you down. The answer is yes. We 
Wonderful. That's a yeah, running song, you. by the way. That's a good song to run to or do some sort of activity. Yeah, I try to get yeah. the blood pumping for everybody. For sure, know. and we appreciate that. Brand Not, new Clonvis, the universe. You know how available. much I like that song? I just put an order at clonvistotherescue.com. I got some activity books coming for my kids. <laughs> oh, it, thank it you, just, man. It just pushed me right over the edge. I had to do it. Well, digitally, you could buy it on, or you get it on Monday, and then you could buy the CD uh, tonight at your show. That's right. That's right, and uh, we had a lot of fun making it. And uh, if anybody listens to it, <clears throat> I'll be pleased. I'll be I'll be happy about that. Are you going to perform some new stuff tonight? I am. Yeah, there's a, a lot of stuff that I haven't done. I'm trying to make this. Uh, you know, I, I just don't want to go back to the exact same stuff I was doing uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of new stuff in the show tonight. Going to take some chances, try some new stuff, and it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Are you going to go back on the road? When, what, what are we talking about? A little, here? Is this little a one bit. One off here. Yeah, or this is start. This is more of a one-off. I told my agent I don't want to hit the road until at least next uh, spring or summer, mm. uh, just because the internet show is going so well, and, and I don't want to try to, um, me you know, mess up my flow. I'm doing the uh, gathering of the juggalos in a couple of weeks. I'm going out oh, for that again. Oh, that's and sad. if you go on the road, you're not a you can't come in here. So yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, that's yeah. the biggest part. Oh, I know there was a gathering this year. They are yeah, they're doing it in, in uh, whatever next month is. Yeah, that's August. August. Yeah. August, yes. Yeah, a couple August. weeks away. Uh, and that's out in Illinois. It's in um, Ohio. Ohio. This time, yeah. That's terrific. Yeah, it should be fun, man. It should be fun. It's, your songs are great, man. We need to get you some followers on uh, Spotify and whatnot. Go follow him on Spotify. Okay, I'll do it right now. Jeff told me to. Everybody follow Clownvis on, on Spotify. Clownvis on Spotify. Yeah, there's, there's songs on Spotify. I didn't know you could follow people on Spotify. Yeah, yep. That's Let's how much see. I know. Oh, yeah. oh, here we go. All right, Clownvis. I just clicked follow. Here I am. There we go. Number one, Clown Motel. Mm -hmm. The most played song, however, though, is uh, Don't Be a Bitch or You Won't Get It. <laughs> That's my daughter's favorite yeah. song. Oh, thank daughter's you. daughter's favorite Christmas okay. song. Yeah, but she chews tobacco. From the clown. She ch chews tobacco. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter saw it for the first time. She goes, that clown curses. Oh, she, Isn't that was, great? that was, there were many people, but your daughter had the biggest smile on her face from the second Columbus went on the stage until it was over. She yeah. smiled oh, the nice. whole time. She was eight at the time, so number one with the eight-year-old. Nice. There you go. Nice. His, his twi Columbus's Twitch channel is my son's favorite Twitch mm -hmm. channel, period. Oh, yeah, yeah, your, your, your son was uh, watching the show. He sent in some artwork uh, to the show one night. Yes, he did. That's and he, right. You, uh, you featured it, and he was freaking out, freaking out for days. In fact, if you're here long enough, my son's going to be up here and wants a picture with you. Of course, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody loves clowns. Mm -hmm. I do. Oh, guys, I'm blushing. You I can't absolutely tell. love <laughs> clowns. My mother met you. She I, thinks you're blushing. Right I, when, when that song was playing, I said, you know who is a giant Columbus fan who probably is would be a surprising person to, you know, for you to think would love Columbus? John Patrico. My dad loves Columbus. Every time we talk about the show, my dad always chuckles a little bit and goes, <laughs> how's Columbus doing? I'm like, ah, <laughs> You guys sang together once. We oh, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. We yep. got to do a whole Christmas album, me and him. I'd love to. Oh, that'd be oh awesome. man, he would that'd love that, be that too. Amazing. All right. Apparently, Bob Saget is uh, circling. Just a few minutes late. Cab driver was, you know, like I said, just showing him the sights. And, uh, while uh, we'll he'll, wait, be here, he'll be here soon. Well, wait. 